highlight of action coming your way tomorrow night, right here, brought to you by Jake Paul's Most Valuable Promotions and Showtime Pay-Per-View. We're sponsored by Better. Sports just got... Download the Better app and build your Paul Silva ticket. Also brought to you by Universal Pictures' Violent Night, starring David Harbour as Santa Claus, only in theaters on December the 2nd. And also brought to you by Call of Duty Modern Warfare, available now. Reminding you, our international blockbuster night of action features five pay-per-view bouts, and our prelims are streamed live on the Showtime Sports YouTube channel. Well, at this time, we would like to make a special presentation and welcome to the stage our round card models. They'll be joining us here this afternoon as well tomorrow night in between rounds. How about a hand for Jake Paul's most valuable promotions, round card models. And indeed a valuable message from Jake Paul's most valuable promotions round card models. And at this time I introduce to you the renowned combat sports host. He'll be handling the Q&A session after the fighters weigh in. How about a hand for Ariel Helwani? All right, fans, here we go. Let's bring out our fighters for our opening pay-per-view attraction. Four rounds of boxing in the cruiserweight division. Introducing to you first from New York City. People Magazine named him the sexiest doctor alive. Here is the popular health, fitness, and social media influencer making his professional debut, Dr. Mike Varshavsky. And Dr. Mike weighs in at a ready 182 and one half pounds, 182 and a half. And now we invite his opponent to the scale at this time from Stockton, California. His boxing record is even up with one win and one loss. That's in boxing, but he is a battle-tested MMA veteran. Please welcome Chris Avila. And Chris Avila weighs in at 183 and one quarter pounds. 183 and a quarter pounds. And Nakisa Badarian right in between these fighters in our opening pay-per-view attraction. Cruiserweights, four rounds of boxing. Dr. Mike, good to see you, my friend. You're about to fight a combat sports veteran over 20 fights in your pro debut. Can you possibly put into words what is going through your mind 24 hours before this fight? I'm used to saving lives, and now I have to figure out how to do damage inside that ring. And for me, I have to suspend my Hippocratic oath to do no harm to get inside that ring but be prepared to see a boxer, not a doctor, inside that ring. Can't wait for it. Good luck to you, my friend. Let's say hello now to Chris Avila, the former UFC fighter, Bellator fighter, MMA veteran, returning once again to the squared circle. Chris, what did you say to Dr. Mike up there? I didn't say shit, fuck this fool. He's a piece of shit. He acting nice, but he ain't nice. He's trying to fuck me up tomorrow. Fuck this little bitch, he's a bitch. We'll All right, there you have it, Chris Avila. Dr. Mike, tomorrow night 
on Showtime pay-per-view. All right, fans, here we go. We continue with our way in this time. We are once again in the cruiserweight division. It's a showdown between two former professional athletes stepping up into the boxing ring for the very first time. Four rounds of boxing. First, please welcome to the stage in the scale. Originally from Reynoldsburg, Ohio, now fighting out of Los Angeles. He's an NFL great professional boxing debut tomorrow night. Please welcome the two-time All-Pro running back, the Juice, Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell weighs in at 197 and one half pounds. 197 and one half. And now his opponent, born in Jamaica, raised in Queens, New York. Former UFC middleweight standout, making his professional boxing debut. Here is the elite MMA striker, Uriah Primetime Hall. Uriah Hall weighs in at 198 and one half pounds, 198 and a half. Reminding you, ladies and gentlemen, the Showtime pay per view event is available. Showtime.com, watch on any connected device. It's available on all traditional purchase options for pay per view and also available to international viewers can be purchased on fight.tv. All right, let's have a word with Le'Veon Bell, the former NFL running back great, returning to the squared circle a month after you knocked out Adrian Peterson. But as you know, and as we talked about this week, there's a huge difference between Adrian Peterson and Uriah Hall. What do you say to the naysayers who are saying you are biting off more than you can chew tomorrow night? Um, you know, obviously I'm confident in my ability. Um, I know I got a great opponent. And I got out there and, you know, showcase my skills. Can't wait for it. Good luck to you, my friend. Thank you. Let's talk to the former UFC fighter, Uriah Hall, ultimate fighter, finalist, making his pro boxing debut. A lot of love between you and Le'Veon. I'm wondering, what did you say to each other up there? Um, let's just go out and have some fun, you know. We get to step outside of our comfort zone and uh, beat, beat each other up and get paid. Can't wait for it. Good luck. There he is, Uriah Hall. Make some noise for Uriah Hall and Le'Veon Bell. And we continue with our official weigh-in. This time we move into the bantamweight division. This bout is a rematch between these two fighters scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. First, we welcome at this time from Cleveland, Ohio, former world title challenger with a record of 20 wins, three losses, two draws with 11 knockouts. Here is the bantamweight world contender, Antonio Carita Nieves. And Antonio Nieves weighs in at 117 and three quarter pounds. 117 and three quarter pounds. And his opponent joins us from Tijuana, Baja, California, Mexico. Former world channel, channel challenger as well with a record of 26 wins, three losses, five draws with 13 knockouts. Here is the world ranked bantamweight contender Alejandro El Peque Santiago.
Alejandro Santiago weighs in at 118 pounds. 118 pounds. And the co-founder of Most Valuable Promotions, Nakisa Bedarian, between them. This is Bantamweights in action. Ten rounds of rematch action in the squared circle. All right, let's say hello to Antonio first here. These two fought back in 2016 on Showbox to a split draw. Antonio, looking forward to this fight very much. What do you need to do in this fight that you couldn't get done the first time around? So the first time around, um, you know, like I said, we didn't know much of him. Uh, we didn't know what type of fight he had or what way he was coming uh, because he was a last minute opponent. But now we know what we, he likes to do. So we adjusted our game plan for tomorrow and uh, we're gonna come out with the victory. Good luck. Looking forward to it. Let's talk to Alejandro now. It's a, it's a battle of Puerto Rico versus Mexico. Let's show some love for Mr. Santiago here, who's been on a run as of late, representing Mexico. Alejandro, you have been on a roll. You have been a lot more active than Antonio. What's the biggest difference between you now as a fighter and the fighter who fought him back in 2016? Has estado muy activo últimamente, más que tu rival. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el Alejandro de ahora comparado con el 2016? Eh, el sábado van a ver la diferencia, van a ver a, a un nuevo peque y, y les voy a demostrar este, que voy a ser campeón del mundo. You'll see a new me on Saturday night and you'll see the difference and you'll see a new world champion eventually. I can promise you that. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Gracias. Alejandro Santiago going up against Antonio Neves for the second time. All right, fans, here we go. We're ready to bring out our fighters for the co-main event of the evening, eight rounds of boxing in a lightweight division battle. Presenting first to the stage at this time from La Romana in the Dominican Republic. The hard-hitting lightweight contender, battle-ready veteran with 17 knockouts in his 20 victories. How about a hand for Braulio El Chavo Rodriguez. And Braulio Rodriguez weighs in at 132 and one half pounds, 132 and a half. And now his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, hailing from Long Beach, California. He is undefeated in his young campaign with a record of seven wins, no losses, with all seven wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the young teenage rising lightweight sensation, Ashton H2O Sil.
of the Dominican Republic, Braulio Rodriguez, after that intense stare down. Braulio, if I could just have a word with you, my friend. We've got our translator, Martin, here as well. Braulio, you're almost double his age, way more fights. You have been in this game a lot longer than the 18-year-old Ashton Silva. What do you see when you look into his eyes? Yo, bendiciones para todos. Dios me lo bendiga. No tengo mucha palabra que decir. Yo hablaré en el ring. God bless you all. And I just want you all to know that words are, you know, like, I don't really have much to say. I want to speak inside the ring and you see the best version of me on Saturday night. All right, thank you very much, my friend. Good luck to you. Now let's talk to the 18-year-old sensation, the undefeated, the first prospect signed by Jake Paul's MVP promotion, Ashton H2O Silv. Ashton, looking forward to this one very much. Intense stare down there, a lot of hype, a lot of buzz surrounding you at such a young age. Do you feel like this is the biggest moment, the biggest fight of your career thus far? I mean, of course, but at the end of the day, like my dad always told me, hard work makes easy work. Um, you know, had a hard training camp, now it's time for the easy work. Can't wait. Good luck to you, my man. Thank you so much. There he is. Remember that name, Ashton H2O Silv.